Yo, what up folks? Jock Slade here today with a mega, I don't know if that's the right word, um, big, big unboxing? Well, I guess they're regular size box, so big doesn't apply. Um, super, no, I'm, I'm gonna unbox five things. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm, I'm not gonna do all of them at the same time, so let's just take stuff down. I'll start with this one on top and uh, move all of these to the side for right now. get to all of those later. So this one in particular, I'm really anxious to open this one because uh, my neighbor had it. They delivered it to my to my neighbor like a month ago and my neighbor said she put it in her garage and that she was going to bring it to me but she forgot that it was in her garage until she went to clean her garage and then she found it. So let's open this one now and see exactly what it is. In this case, I literally have no idea what this is. Something from over a month ago um, and it's pink. So that's peculiar. Um, I don't remember any pink shoes off the top of my head. What was pink? Hmm, what was pink? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> this has been longer than I think. All right, let me show you guys before I start. This is from Reebok from a very, they, uh, they did this shoe with Cameron and the dip set, ooh, it has candy in here. Um, a long time ago, I think this, I think this was from like Thanksgiving. So my neighbor, my neighbor has basically had this since Thanksgiving. Shout out to uh, Stance Socks in the pink, do it right, that's what I'm talking about. Not afraid to wear those. Uh, yeah, the camera, wow, this is from Thanksgiving. I, I'm almost sure this was from Thanksgiving. So Cameron came with some nerds, some Laffy Taffies, some pink socks. And this is the <laughs> this is the shoe. I can't believe this is just opening this. That's crazy. Uh, shout out to my neighbor for holding on to my sneaker packages. Uh, so yeah, so this is what the uh, like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing. Just crazy that this has been so long ago. So uh, yeah, this is the Cameron collaboration with Reebok. That's pretty cool though. It has Dipset on the in the insoles. Shout out to the Dipset, 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 Dipset. Here's the other shoe. Let's move this box out of the way. Very clean though. Have a uh, pink camo. And this is like a suede on the upper, and then it has dip set right there on the heel. This is a dip set on both heels. Yeah, it says dip set on both heels. Um, so this is the Ventilator Supreme. It has like a really thin, oh actually it's a padded tongue, but it has that uh, the same suede leather on it. That's uh, very nice. It has some gold tips on the laces, which is pretty fly. Yeah, shout out to Reebok. Thank you, uh, Reebok. I appreciate you sending these over, uh, even though I got them way late. Let's see, are there any details on the eyelets, aglets? No? Very well done. Shout out to Cameron. Uh, put these back in here. So yeah, dip set. Shout out to Reebok. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, go to the next box. Again, don't know where this is from, uh, or don't know what this is, I should say have. This one looks like it is from Under Armour. This is the Under Armour Charged Controller. I'm not sure I know what this one is. Uh, these are only a hundred bucks according to the tag. So let's take a look, see what this is. A note, uh, Jacques, keep your game in shape this winter with the Charged Controller. So let's see here. Oh, look at these. I don't think I've ever seen these. I don't remember seeing these. Looks like these have a knitted upper. There's like some hyper fuse or fuse material at the toe to keep you locked in. More fuse right here along the eyelet. Let me take these out of the box here. This is like a red, almost orange colorway. I like the the, the contrast with the black, the white, and the orange. And this is like a knit, uh, some kind of mesh or knit. Um, I, don't, I don't remember what Under Armour calls their mesh or their knit. Uh, but it has charge cushioning, which works really well. I, I I first really experienced the charge cushioning when I got the Curry One. So uh, if you are a Curry One fan, you like the feel of the Curry One, then this charged cushioning is nice. Also, if you like to play uh, in low top shoes. So these look very nice. It has a really nice thick heel counter to keep you locked in and for your ankle. And for those uh, that don't know that are just starting to get into sneakers and the basketball shoes, it's really the heel counter that keeps you locked in and that keeps your keeps your ankle stable. So a lot of times people wear ankle braces, but really the ankle brace isn't as helpful as a really strong heel counter for for your foot. Uh, so yeah, so these aren't these aren't bad. I'm, I'm not mad at these. It has a little speckles here on the midsole. Uh, thank you, Under Armour. Appreciate you guys sending these over. This is 
This is very cool. I like these. I, I kind I want to say this is infrared, but I know that's not what Under Armour is calling it, but that's what the color reminds me of. It's almost like a highlight pink. Let me see if it's on the box. All right, let's see what the box says. It says PXF. So Phoenix, Phoenix? Maybe they're calling the color Phoenix? Like as in fire, Phoenix. The Phoenix rises from, from the bottom. And these are basketball shoes. They're only 99 bucks. That's a pretty good deal considering most shoes, at least the signature shoes are like 115 and up. So if you want to go on the under $100 mark, then the Under Armour charged might be right up your alley. So thank you Under Armour. Appreciate you sending these over. I'm gonna have to really get, uh, play a couple games in these and see, see how they feel on the court. Next one. All right, this one is from Finish Line, and I have a good idea what this one is. Uh, this one just showed up. I, For those that have been following me on Twitter and Instagram, I was over in, I was in San Bruno at YouTube headquarters this week, and a, a shoe release that I'm really excited about because I really think it's super comfortable, and I think that's actually what's in here. So let's see if my suspicions are confirmed. I think it is the Lunar Epic Flyknit 2, but again, I'm not sure about that. All right, so the Lunar Epic is, I probably should, I don't know why I opened this on two sides. The Lunar Epic Flyknit was one of, I don't want to say a sleeper shoe because it did get some love last year, uh, but it's just not a shoe that I think everyone was checking for. You can see, yes, that's exactly what it is. Ah, I'm excited about these. I've been wanting to get these. Uh, feel nothing but love with the Nike Lunar Epic Fly Knit 2. Sweet. And it has my, uh, they put even put my um, username there, at Cousteau. When negative thoughts are high and temperatures are low, how do you stay motivated? What gives you that epic runner's high? Share your story. Help us inspire runners and athletes alike to keep their spirits high and legs moving. Lunar Epic Nike running. Let's get right. Oh, this is the fire colorway too. The blue and the green. This is really dope. I love this. Oh, look at that. Those are fire. Earlier this year, I tweeted that I want to actually run a marathon. I don't know if this is the shoe I'll be using to run a marathon, but I am going to start running a lot more. Um, but yeah, I want to give you guys a quick look at these. This is the Lunar, sorry, I almost dropped it. The Lunar Epic Flyknit 2. Uh, I was a big fan of the original one that had the mid cut. I didn't get a pair of the low ones, uh, but this color is really, really clean. And they actually changed up the fly knit on the upper a little bit as well. It seems to be just as breathable, but it's almost like it's a, they made it a bit more durable in certain places. I don't know if that, they were having some issues with it with it uh, not being durable for people who actually ran in theirs. I never actually, well, I did run in them a couple times, but not consistently. So I wonder if people that actually ran in these had an issue with the fly knit. And so they made it a little thicker and changed up the pattern a little bit. Uh, they have the Lunar Sight outsole. So this is all made of Lunar, but it's Sight out based on the mapping of your foot which should technically help you so that's what these are thank you uh to finish line and to nike i appreciate you guys for sending these over let's put these away here we go this one may be a little more than sneakers so let's see oh there it is my name jacques slade let's take a look Dear Jacques, introducing the Converse and Babylon apparel and footwear collection, an expression of creativity, culture, youth, and spirit. Enjoy Converse. Babylon street style, hashtag Converse. Thank you, Converse. It's a, it's a t shirt. Yes. Let's take it. Oh, let's look at that. Has a P sign there. Long sleeve T. Nice thickness. Very nice. I believe it says, it says Babylon there on the sleeve. Very nice and old English writing, so you guys can check that out. All right, now let's look at the shoes, and this is the Chuck Taylor All-Star 2, which I can't get out of the box. There you go. For those of you uh, out there that have been following me for a while, you know that I'm into the Chuck Taylors and the All-Stars, so this is right up my alley. So this is the Chuck Taylor 2. These have lunar inserts, which is always nice. Black and white laces, and they have some detailing here on the back, some old English writing, and I'll be honest, Vol... I don't know what that says, because I can't really read old English writing. Volder... Voldermont? Voldermont? Volume? No, that's not a... Volatile? I don't I don't know what it says, but it has some old English writing. There you have this black, like, leather mesh upper, and another thing about the Chuck too, they have cushioned um, uppers, so it's... Although it's like, this one has canvas, and then there is some suede at the toe, these, uh, they have, they're cushioned, unlike the old Chuck Taylors, which had no cushioning at all anywhere. Um, then these have, we light the fires here on the heel and they have a mesh, I mean, sorry, suede at the toe cap. Very dope, very nice. Nice detailing, shout out to Babylon. Nice detailing they did on these. And then we light the fires is on this one as well. So yeah, we light the fires. 
Very cool looking, obviously white outsoles. Then they have these gum bottoms, black laces. They come with alternative white laces if you want to switch out the laces. And then let me see if there's anything on the in the heels. Nothing on the heels. So yeah, that's what those look like. Very nicely done. Thank you to Converse, appreciate you guys. All right, we have one more to go. Let's see what's in this last box. All right, this is the last one. Let's see what we have here. I just, there we go. This one is from Jordan. All right, uh, so this is uh, the Air Jordan 13 Retro Black Black. Uh, size 11, uh, doesn't have the regular tag on it, which gets me kind of excited, which means it might be something very, very nice in here that I haven't seen before. Open this up, let's see what we have. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, I um, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Beaverton to um, interview Tinker Hatfield, who designed this shoe. This is the Air Jordan 13. This is the black cat colorway with the suede and then the mesh side panels here. So I interviewed Tinker about this shoe and some of that stuff went up on the Jordan Instagram story. So if you saw that, I was the one actually interviewing him for that story. And uh, Jordan said they were gonna send me these um, as part of that interview process. And it has the holographic eye here, the paw print. Really interesting to actually talk to Tinker about the shoe and his design and when he got to go talk to Michael about it and how he approached Michael with the black cat concept. So for those that don't know, he approached Michael with a black cat concept, not knowing that Michael's friends actually used to call him black cat. And he was more inspired by Jordan's prowess on the court, how he's like seemingly attacked and had all this energy and it was crazy. Um, you should just seen some of the drawings. They showed some of the drawings of his early sketches of the shoe. And it looked like he literally had like a tiger paw print as the outsole of the shoe. And it's great to see how that all came to life on this design. So yeah, that's the last one. The Air Jordan 13 Black Cat as designed by the legendary Tinker Hatfield. Just wanna say a uh, big shout out to Jordan Brand, to Converse, to Reebok, to Under Armour, and uh, to Nike. I definitely appreciate you guys. Thank you for sending these things over. I will definitely be sharing these shoes a lot more on my Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. So if you guys wanna know more about any of these shoes in particular, make sure you leave me a message down in the comments below. Also, make sure you turn on your notifications for this channel because YouTube is doing some strange things and having your, your notifications on is the only way to make sure that my videos show up in your feed. As always, guys, I appreciate you. I am Jacques Slade. This is a super mega crazy or just five box unboxing. I shouldn't make it any more than it already is. All right, guys, I appreciate you and I'll see you soon. Peace.